Important changes that you should be aware of are happening in the real estate industry after the NAR lawsuit decision in recent months. Penciled for the middle of August, most multiple listing services, known as the MLS, will be eliminating the option for a seller or listing agent to offer a buyer's agent compensation through their database. So let's discuss how this will affect home buyers and home sellers in the future. What does the National Association of Realtors lawsuit mean for home buyers? Well, one of three things will now happen. A buyer submitting an offer on a home will either one, have to pay their realtor out of pocket for their commission on top of their purchasing costs, two, will have to ask for a seller credit at closing to help pay for their realtor's commission, or three, will be able to have their buyer's agent compensated because the seller is still offering a buyer's agent commission. The most important thing to take away from this as a buyer is to know that as a buyer who's working with a realtor, you will always have the option as to whether you pay your buyer's agent commission out of pocket or decide to get it covered through a seller's credit. What does the lawsuit mean for home sellers? Well, first thing is first, real estate commissions have always been and still remain negotiable. There is no fixed pricing. Now you'll likely be able to find a realtor that will work at any percentage that you and they feel is fair. But in this industry, you usually get what you pay for. So please beware. So back to the lawsuit and how it affects home sellers. When listing their home with a realtor, a seller will have the option to either one, agree to pay a commission to their realtor who's listing the property and offer no buyer agent compensation, or two, agree to a commission with their listing agent that also offers a buyer's agent compensation through alternative means and methods or websites. Sellers who continue to offer a buyer's agent compensation will continue to see the most amount of buyers when selling their home. Sellers who don't offer buyer's agent compensation will likely see a reduction in buyer interest and may potentially still get a buyer who requests a seller credit anyways to pay their realtor. In summary, it's important to remember the crucial role that realtors play in both the buying and selling process. 89% of buyers in 2024 so far have used a realtor to help them purchase a home. There's too much value being offered in a good realtor. There's also additional pieces to this lawsuit and developments that I did not cover in this video that you can read more up on online to stay up to date. But I wanted to make sure that both buyers and sellers knew how this was going to affect them moving forward when working in a successful transaction in real estate. And as a Connecticut native and a real estate broker, I value each and every client that I exclusively get to work with. So my question to you now is, what can we make happen for you in the world of real estate?